Welcome to Flow of Miracles Month Energy Reading for August. And we're moving away from the high priestess energy of July, which you hopefully use to strengthen your intuition and take some time to reflect on the choices you made towards the Knight of Cups reverse. So it seems that I'm drawing a lot of cup cards this year, which seems quite natural to me. As I look around, I see that a lot of emotions are heightened. Uh, some of that is nice when we have heightened joy and heightened happiness. And some is tough when we see that there's a lot of fears, that there is a lot of anger, and that there is a lot of frustration. The Knight of Cups is reversed, so that means that we're dealing with some of the darker issues of the Knight of Cups this month. And that could be within you when you are too romantic, when you're procrastinating, when you're busy being a victim. But it can also be uh, for somebody around you. So while the knight is usually portrayed by a man, uh, there are also women who have knight of cups um, characteristics. So the first thing to understand is that um, it is really tough for Knight of Cups to actually deal with some of the realities of life. Um, if you notice that you're having trouble with that, then hesitate to do some true unity work or to ask people to ground you some or even do your own grounding exercises like you can find on my blog or with the manifestation meditations. Of course, I can talk a lot about the don'ts, but first let's start about the do's. The do's this month are do rationalize, do stay calm, and do be heroic. So with so much heightened emotions, with so much trouble staying in the here and now, staying grounded, it's so important to rationalize. Do that often. You have floods of emotion and it's just so important to filter that through your head center to your intuition through higher power so you make sense of all those emotions and they do not overwhelm you or make you make choices that later you will be regretting it's so important to stay calm this month when you're in the face of upsets, delays, frustration, or maybe facing an enraged Knight of Cups uh, in front of you who will not calm down. And like I always tell people, telling others to stay calm never works. But if you are calm, then usually they will calm down as well. So really invest in staying calm and making sure that you're showing emotional maturity. And last but not least, it's time to be heroic. Don't stay in any victimhood. Make sure that you take uh, charge of your life, that you understand that you are not powerless and that there will be a lot of people around you needing help this month. And if you are able to help them, just reach out and help them out. So now for the don't. So don't go into the victimhood, which I already mentioned. It's so easy sometimes when life's not going the way we want to blame others, to blame life, to blame higher power. Why am I dealing with this shit? I should have this flow of abundance. But if the flow of abundance stopped, if the flow stopped, that means that we have walked off the path somewhere and we can go and walk back and of course you can check out my instagram live session about flow or you can of course do a manifestation meditation to go back into what you need do not become hyper romantic uh, it is so easy sometimes to have complete rose colored glasses and like one of my favorite sayings um, says if you're wearing rose-colored glasses, all, all flags <laughs> look like red flags. So you have no idea about what's really going on in reality around you. It's easy with heightened emotions to feel like this is the opportunity of a lifetime. This partner 
that you just met is the one uh, this job that you just got is your dream job but we need to stay grounded and last but not least do not procrastinate when our emotions are so heightened when we feel so um, big feelings it's very easy to stay in the feelings and forget reality and even though it's august before you know it it'll be september and there's lots of things to do and things that we should be doing this month so do not procrastinate but actually deal with what we should be dealing with so i wish you all a wonderful month the practice is still closed if you have any emergency you can always try to reach me and i will see if i can still offer you some help have a great month